Hey, hey, what is up drummers of YouTube? Andrew Rooney here. I'm a full-time drummer and drum teacher here in Auckland, New Zealand. You're hurting all of us when you bring down New Zealand, okay? Today we are back with a PayPal request. It's from John Levasseur in New York. Water. <laughs> Dog. <laughs> Coffee. <laughs> hey, Andy. Thanks again for your channel. If you remember back about seven months ago, I had requested the Virtual Insanity Jamiroquai Yoyoka cover. Well, she's impressed this old recording engineer again. It seems it's the apparent simple songs that show her deep talents and ear. This request has me a bit confused musically because you can... Ah, this request has me a bit confused musically. Maybe you can clarify. The piece seems to be in 5-4, but it could be 9-8, given the way she is playing the kick drum. What's impressed me was the way she is playing the hi-hat in 4-4, four four with accents on 2-4 and four over the 5-4 timing. I don't recall her ever playing these type of complex polyrhythms. It sounds like a simple song, but this type of composition is quite difficult for most drummers I have encountered. By the way, this is the best recording quality she has made to date. Your Tom Envy is about to explode. The song is Sting's seven, oh, seven Days. Thanks for your great insights into drumming for students of the art. John Levisieur, New York. John, I can tell you that the original drummer on this recording, on this album, was the one and only Vinnie Caluda. Absolute magician. So yeah, I mean, your yoke has taken on some big drummers. And she's always done incredibly well. So this one's going to be absolutely fascinating. Thank you so much for the pick. Let's check it out. It's not taking all the easy songs, I tell you. What is so genius about this groove? And you're absolutely right, John. This is in 5-4 time uh, signature. Which means basically instead of counting to 4, you count to 5 to resolve the pattern. What is so genius about this groove? Uh, probably talking about the original uh, groove composition here by Vinny. Is the accent placement. It makes it all feel very natural. Um, normally when people play an odd time signatures like 7-4, 5-4, it really feels like 5-4 or 7-4. It feels really angular and awkward. This feels completely smooth and natural. So this is just part of the Vinny genius and part of the Sting genius and part of the Yuyoka genius for covering it so well and uh, playing the groove completely naturally like it was the easiest thing in the world, which it is not. My options are decreasing mostly rapidly. Well, we'll see. I don't think she'd bluff this time. I really have to make a mind. It's plain to see. It's him or me. Guys, by the way, original video link in the description of all my videos. Please do go check it out. Support your Yoko. Give her a sub if you haven't subbed already. Phenomenal drummer. Plenty of awesome stuff to get your teeth into over on her channel. The way she exploded into that chorus. Just unbelievable. And then we're just straight back to business 
on this incredible, smooth, yet difficult verse part. Also, if you are here for a bit more analysis, I will break down some of the accents that are going on at the end of this video. So stick with me and we will chat about accents. Let's just uh, keep this going for now. The fact is over six feet ten Might instill fear in other men But not in me The mighty flee Ask if I am mouse or man The mirror squeaked away I ran He'll murder me In time for his tea does it bother me at all? My rival is Neanderthal. It makes me think. Perhaps I need a drink. IQ is no problem here. We won't be playing Scrabble for. Hundred percent correct, uh, John. I do have some further Tom envy going on here. Notice she's got like an O-ring just loosely hanging out on that second floor, Tom. So obviously that's an indication. Not afraid to use heavy heads. I think we're using hydraulic heads here on her toms, which is going to help with that really deep thuddy tone. Just a great sound. And I understand she does all of this herself, records herself, obviously learns the songs, records herself, mixes herself. It's just absolutely phenomenal. And if this doesn't inspire you and make you want to go practice and record a cover, I want to go record this cover now. I've never learned the song. I, I need to go learn this. Now, just looking back at your message here, John, um, when you told me about the video, you mentioned here, it sounds like a simple song, but this type of composition is quite difficult for most drummers I have encountered. And I know you're an engineer, John. Um, I would 100% agree with that. I think superficially, on the surface, this song probably sounds... I wouldn't say it sounds easy. I, I think most drummers would possibly underestimate this. Then you find out it's Vinnie Caluda on the original and you think, oh, okay, yeah, there's probably some stuff going on here. 
And there is, there is some stuff going on here for sure. We got some flash at the end. We got some real flashy excitement and some chops at the end, which would clearly, you know, would take a bit of practice and um, sound difficult. The whole song, it is difficult to sit in an odd time signature. I think, especially for drummers. The thing with drums is you, when you learn, it is really important to start playing something that sounds like a beat. That sounds like something you would possibly have, would have heard on the radio, on CDs, Spotify, whatever, however you listen to music. It's quite important to bridge that gap from starting and wanting to learn drums to actually being able to play something that sounds like a beat. And then that next level of actually being able to play that in time with a song. Now, this requires a lot of practice in 4-4. Four, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then all the various bass drum combinations surrounding that, extra snare drums. You need to really work that stuff. You work it over and over and over until you don't have to think about it, until it's just completely natural. And you can play a 4-4, four, four, drum pattern at various tempos comfortably with various bass drum uh, alterations, additions, subtractions, and various other snare parts in between those strong backbeat two and fours. Now, what I'm getting at here is you work so hard on that, it actually becomes quite difficult to break away from that and not hit two and four resolve back one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, four, for example, how do we break that up? Do we keep it like four, four, but with an extra beat? One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one. You know, that's a bit, that's not cool. You know, that's a little bit cheesy. Maybe we shift that second backbeat. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. It's still too clearly marking the 5-4. And when you get an artist like Sting, obviously it's taken, taken for granted that Sting's drummer is going to be very adept and comfortable playing in an odd time signature. He, he uses the best drummers in the world. They're going to have no problem playing in these odd time signatures. So now the question becomes, how can we make this odd time signature feel cool? And almost how can we make it danceable? How can we make it feel like it's not an odd time signature? How can we make it just purely music? I don't want to be thinking this is an odd time. This is complicated. This is difficult. Where's the one? I just want to be playing music. I just want to play. And that is the genius of what we've got here. Now, what I'm going to do is I am going to bring up my Dromeo account and I have found the track seven days in the song section by the way you guys can get access to all this for free free on my link go uh, use my 30-day free trial check out Dromeo and you just go to the song section you can download the PDFs for these songs or you can do what I'm doing here which is track along with the uh, song and if we look here at the transcription, we can see clearly how the accents break up the 5-4 pattern. Now, the placement of the cross stick backbeats, as you can see here, if you follow my cursor, is on count four. So we've got one and two and three and four and five and. And then... If we look at this as a two bar pattern, which is basically what is going on on the drums, it's the backbeat is going to be in the same place, but the accents are going to move. Now, if you're not sure what accents are, accents are notated with this little arrow looking thing above the notation and an accent is a slightly emphasized or a much emphasized note, uh, basically a louder note with a little bit more weight, a little bit more push in it. And what it does is it creates momentum and flow 
if everything was the same with no accents, ta 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 it would just be like a machine. You may as well program the drum part, right? But accents add a little bit of humanity and a little bit of flavor and a little bit of lope into the drum part. Now what we can do here, which is really cool, we can loop sections. So why don't we loop, I'm not gonna loop the first and the second bar because there's a crash there and we've got an extra 16th note at the end. I'll just go down to, down to this part here when the verse starts. A little bit more sort of standard beat. The other thing we can do is we can slow this down. Let's slow it down a little bit so we can just talk our way through it. And I'm gonna hit play on this loop. So to loop sections on Dromeo, just click and drag. It is ridiculously easy. Seven four, days five, was one, two, three, four, five. Two, three, Seven four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Let's make the loop double the length. So what we've got is accents in the first bar. We've got accents, well, basically on the first count because we've got a crash. So let's class that as an accent. Then we've got the next accent on the three, rim click on the four, accent on the five. Everybody with me following along? But the next bar, it all shifts. Now our accent is on the two and the hi-hat accent with that rim click on the four. So if we look at the accent pattern, basically what we've got is one and two and three and four and five and one and two and three and four and five and one and two and four and five and one, two, three, four, five, one, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Evenly spaced accents, which make the beat smooth, which is genius. Genius. Vinnie Caliuta, Thank you for all you've done for drumming and all you've done for music. You want to study a drummer out there? Study Vinny. He's played on 50,000 million albums, so you can choose whichever one you want. Genius. Absolute genius. Let's listen to what he is doing here. So this is not the Yoka cover. Obviously, this is Vinny's original drum part. Seven days was not sure. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Seven days was two, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. What can you say? Uh, everything Vinny does is a drum lesson, and it's a good way to think about. It's a good way to think differently about odd time and. The other thing that can happen with odd time is a lot of it depends on the band. If the band are barely hanging on and they're struggling to keep the odd time going and they're just naturally trying to resolve things in 4-4, yes, you might need to really, really strongly signpost those resolutions back to the one, right? Vinny is kind of doing that. He is playing a bass drum on one of each bar. But there's a lot of deception and a lot of rhythmic illusion in between that. Anyway, back to Yoka. Absolutely killed it. As you say, John, Kit sounds amazing. Tom sound amazing. I don't even know what to say anymore. Everything she plays is brilliant. It seems like everything she tackles is well within her facility range and I mean, that, that's a difficult song. That really is a difficult song. You'll probably struggle, or, you know, I should be careful what I say. You might struggle to find a really good cover of this song because it's difficult. Vinnie Caliuta is no joke. Sting's drummers, no joke, none of them. And yeah, this is just brilliant. I think the best thing I can say from the bottom of my heart about you, Yoka, is she makes me want to play. She makes me want to practice. I want to go out and learn the song now. She, I wouldn't say she makes things look easy, but she has a lot of fun when she plays things. And it's just very clear, you know, there's no trickery, there's no multiple edits, and we're not switching camera angles. It's one static shot, 
and you can see it is literally her plane there's no sound replacement going on it is just her plane static one shot and what she's managed to do with her channel and with her drumming i'm just so delighted for her and let's see i don't want to i should not be putting this on camera but i think um, i'm gonna have to add sting seven days to the list of songs that i need to learn gotta learn the song i'm inspired john levisier over in new york thank you so much for this pick and the support on the channel guys remember original video link in the description of this video please do go along check it out support your yoka hit it with a subscribe and if you're feeling generous please do consider subscribing to my channel hitting that like button and leaving a comment with what you thought about this video and what you would like me to check out in the future if you would like to support my channel further i do have a patreon it's just five dollars a month you get access to all the blocked videos if you have a direct reaction request like john did on this one that is via the paypal link and remember you as a subscriber of my channel get access to a full and free 30-day trial over at drumio you can go pick up these incredible resources like what i've shown you on this video please do go along and check it out if you're sleeping on drumio now is the time to i was gonna say now is the it's free Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Until then, take care. Drums and coffee. Ciao.